pics of your friends. There was drama at the Makere Institute of Social Research when the truculent Dr. Stella Nyanzi found her office bolted. A detailed document published on the Institute's website on the 16th of this month, authored by the director of the Institute, Dr. Mahmoud Mamdani, pointed out breach of the agreement to teach at the Institute as the main reason why she was being evicted from the office. However, this morning, Dr. Nyanzi dismissed the publication in rage. Mamdani refused to promote me because I refused to teach. I am stating it here categorically. I will never, never, will lie. I will never teach on Mahmoud Mamdani's course because Mamdani should show me where I should sit. Otherwise, I'm telling him to sit in the library there like he told me to sit. Why, why do you think I'm doing this? Tell me, why do you think I'm doing this? Why do you think I'm doing this? The exposure on its own is good enough for me. <laughs> She threatened to undress in protest. <laughs> the arrival of the police, headed by Jackson Muchunguzi, the chief security officer, Makerere, aggravated the already hostile situation as Dr. Nyanzi stripped in protest. <laughs> The Vice Chancellor John Dumba Sentamu hastily called on the Institute to calm Dr. Nyanzi, but his efforts were all in vain. And after I had to rush to Miser to find out what is happening, so I put her down and I told her that I'm going to sort out the problem. In an interview with NTV, Vice Chancellor Professor John Dumba Sentamu said a committee will be instituted to investigate the matter and take appropriate action. On Friday, the, my, one of my deputies, Professor Banabas Nawangui, wrote a circular. I know, wrote to Professor Mamudan, uh, stating that Sarah Nyanzi should remain in our office. Uh, but chances are high that maybe Professor Mamudan had not got the letter. But as I speak now, the office, Sarah Nyanzi can access our, what, our office. Professor Nyanzi has consistently used distasteful language to express her sentiments on a number of issues on her social media pages and used her Facebook account today to express her dissatisfaction with Professor Mamdani before her account was blocked by the Uganda Communications Commission. She finally regained access to her office in the afternoon when the university administration handed her keys to her office. Yes, Sammy, thank you for fighting. Walter Mwesije, NTV.